Welcome to the Easy Gourmet. I'm your chef today, Michael Marcel. I have an amazing group of people here. Please introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Sandy McCartney. I'm a recent transplant from Texas, and I just uh, moved to Frazee. I'm Cassie Ullman. Jamie Barch. <laughs> Darren Anderson. And Molly. Frazee. And Molly. <laughs> and Molly. Yes, my little Molly we just adopted. So, tell me a little bit about yourselves. What do you do for a living? I work for a, a travel technology company out of Texas, so I get to travel uh, a lot. And so, therefore, I am a, definitely a foodie, so I'm looking forward to what you have to offer. Okay. Uh, travel technology, did you say? Yes. Airline, sof mean? airline software. Okay. So if, if you make a reservation on an airline or check in somewhere, yeah. chances are that my company made that. Oh, cool. Yeah. And because they do that, they get good deals on airline tickets. Is that I only right? wish. <laughs> no, they don't. No, no, no. We we pay full price, just like everybody else. You do, else. huh? Do mm -hmm. you get the upgrades though? We do. Yes. In the first class. Yes, we yeah. do. Yep. And you sit there and drink all flight. Champagne <laughs> the whole way. All right. Cool. Cassie, what's what do you do? I am the pound manager at the Marshmallow Foundation. I've been there for eight years. Awesome. Great, great thing. This Molly is a rescue dog, as you see over here. She's beautiful. We love her. I have three beagles, and they're all rescues. It's a good thing. Yes. You're doing a good thing for the doggies. They're better than people. Yes, they are, and I'd rather work <laughs> yes, with them any, any day. day. Way nicer. <laughs> yes, Way and they nicer. don't tell anybody anything that you tell them. <laughs> <laughs> They're good secret keepers. Yeah. And I'm okay. I mean, they're the only thing I can actually get naked in front of. <laughs> Without feeling some sort of shame, yes. <laughs> yeah, they don't judge me. <laughs> At least I don't think. You probably, you probably fit in because it's natural. They're probably laughing their breath a little bit. Oh my God, did you see Daddy? You're naked just like me. Yeah. I don't know what the hell he's wearing. <laughs> so, and... And I'm a pharmacy tech with Walmart and Dilworth. Perfect. And in my spare time, I volunteer at the Marshmallow Foundation. Where do you live? We live in Tamarack Lake over by Pelican Rapids. Oh, so you have a little commute every day, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. Awesome. And Darren, what's your whole story? Uh, I'm a bartender at the Speakeasy in Detroit oh, Lakes. Oh, fantastic. Come on down, I'll make you a great drink. <laughs> <laughs> well, today we're going to be doing uh, something new. We're putting on the menu at the Speakeasy, yellowfin tuna, which, um, look at this, look at how beautiful that meat is. You know, a lot of people think, you know, um, because it's fish, it's going to taste fishy. And we... Um, we would have to disagree with you because this actually is one of the greatest um, fishes out there right now. I mean, and you can cook this medium rare, you can cook it rare, and it's amazing. We served it last week at the Speakeasy and we grilled it and put a nice little chutney on top of it. It was amazing. This is a new fish that we are playing around with and we're planning and putting on our new menu that's coming out here real soon. So um, this, you'd be surprised on how it's almost like it tastes like a steak. You know, it doesn't taste like fish at all. Really amazing, and you do want to serve this this particular fish, you know, at least medium rare, you know. So, and that's how we're going to be doing it today. I did put another piece on there just for all those Scandinavian DL people <laughs> that need everything cooked thoroughly. So, but um, we're going to season this up with a little uh, Old Bay seasoning on both sides. And then I'm going to drizzle it with a little olive oil. Oh, and you can just rub that in there a little bit. Same side. And I've got the grill nice and hot over there. You want to hear that nice sizzle. It's beautiful. Um, it won't take long at all. Mashed potato. And then um, some asparagus. And as you see the asparagus, you see where the white end is here, everybody? This is what you want to take off. Um, true cooks will always tell you that you want to break it off and not cut it off. I've done both. I've cheated. We're going to do about four of these because they're nice and, and thick. And then I'm going to throw them in a little boiling water over here. 
We've got some potatoes done already. We're going to season those up. But I want to show you how this chutney is going to be prepared as well. And I will show you right after these messages. Welcome back to the Easier Grimmie. So right now we're going to make the sauce. And I've got a pan that's heating up back here. We're going to throw a little olive oil in there. And we're going to start sauteing some peppers. And then I have, you know what, I just cheat, you know, when you can. A lot of times that's why it's called the Easier Grimmie. Um, I've, I've just got some mangoes, some pears, and I've got this great little mango salsa. And, my, or not pears, peaches. Uh, so I have a peach and mango salsa, and then I have a peach and mango preserve. So... Um, this is all going to come together just amazingly. But because this is kind of already, you know, you don't have to, just have to heat this up. It's already soft enough. Uh, we want to soften the peppers just a little bit, so that's what I'm going to start with. And I've got a little red, and we'll do just a little bit of green. I just like all the colors in this, so. Christmas. <laughs> What's that? Christmas. Christmas colors. Yes, Christmas. <laughs> We're getting really close to Christmas, actually. <laughs> huh? Isn't that crazy? All right, so back here, we're just going to throw a little olive oil in. And throw this into a pan. We'll let these just soften up a little bit and then we'll throw the rest of everything in. And we're going to thicken it with the preserves. This is your sauce right here. So simple. Can you do that without lighting my house on fire? <laughs> <laughs> and I can crack an egg with one hand. <laughs> now that's talent. <laughs> I do <Great> like job. <laughs> Hello, it's my show. <laughs> and. I just wanted some of the tomatoes and some of the, uh, you know, when, when you have uh, any kind of salsa or, or chutney or um, pico de gallo, you know, it sits and marinates for a little while. So I wanted that already, and that's why I cheated on, on doing this already. But I don't want all the, uh, I want it to drain a little bit. We've got a little bit of the peach. We've got a little of the mango right here. And that's all going to go into the pot. And you're going to get all these great textures and chunk, big chunks. It's going to be just awesome. And the fry rinses. It smells delicious. Mm -hmm. And before we put it in there, you can see just the beautiful colors that we've got. Very nice. This is what's going to go over the tuna, which is going to just make it amazing. And this will just give add a little sweetness to it and bring everything together. And we're going to plate this all up right after these messages. And we're back. Thanks for joining us. So we've got everything ready to go here. Um, we're, I'm going to start with a little bit of the potatoes on the plate. And 
And then we're going to lay our asparagus at the, across the top of that. And that beautiful, beautiful tuna. I almost said salmon. And here's that chutney. I mean, I don't really need to do much more than that, but. It's so pretty. But why not? And that's a new dish that we have at the speakeasy. It's almost too pretty to eat. <laughs> Are you serving that now or will it be coming up? We've been using this as a special. We always do a fish special every Friday and Saturday night at the Speakeasy. So um, that's a good night to go check it out. How much is it? Um, this one is $1,000. <laughs> Just this one or all yeah, of them? All of them. <laughs> but at the Speakeasy. I yeah. think it's like 14 isn't it? No, I think um, most fish nowadays is right around the $20 mark. You know, I mean, it just is what it is because it costs a little bit more. Um, but this one we are serving medium rare. I think you're going to absolutely love it. Um, we've got another piece over here, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean by medium rare. Um, so this one here, I had cooked a little bit longer. So this one's about medium well. It's just got a slight pink in it. And, you know, some people are going to probably prefer this. You know, people that are a little, you know, unsure of their um, fish being un undercooked. You know, fit, but you know, tuna and salmon are two two fishes that you can do at medium rare anytime you want. Um, this one should be a nice medium rare because I just seared it on both sides. And but a medium well it. soaked in tartar sauce is delicious anyway. So. <laughs> well, it's gonna be it's gonna be just fine in this mango chutney. Trust me. And thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Stop in and see uh, the new bean and cream opening up soon at the Speakeasy. New coffee and ice cream parlor. Uh, we have artesian coffees and they're just insane. They're so good. With 12 different flavors of hard ice cream, which is nobody else is doing that around. So come check us out and we'll see you next time on the Easy Gourmet.